Welcome to Christian Nutrition, the show where we review every single episode of VeggieTales, chronologically. And by we, I mean just me. Today I have a special episode for you all. Uh, today we're going to be covering a random assortment of VeggieTales commercials. And some of them are quite interesting. I mean, otherwise, why would I be showing them to you? I found them either on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and one I had to get offline for a good reason. You may have recalled a previous series of commercials I covered called Thank God for VeggieTales. So now that was a cohesive series. It was all the same kind of commercial, just different commercials for the same message. These are all random. I mean, completely random. The order I put them in... Just, just a random order, honestly. I'll leave a link in the description if you would like to check out that previous series of commercials I covered. But for now, let's dive into these random commercials. This first commercial is actually the video Phil Vischer made to uh, promote VeggieTales to try to get funding for the show. That's right, there was a time before Kickstarter and GoFundMe and Indiegogo and Patreon and all those other campaigns, and you had to like, physically make something and then present it to people and be like, hey, here's what I made, can I get money? This is that video. This is the very first VeggieTales video ever. It is called Take 38. All right, VeggieTales promo, Take 38. Who is that guy? I mean, he doesn't sound familiar and he doesn't sound super excited at all, but who is it? Is he the guy behind the camera who actually films all the episodes of VeggieTales that we never meet? This is a deep conspiracy. Okay, get this. All the citizens of the kitchen come together. Fruits, vegetables, small kitchen appliances. Uh, what happened to Bob's voice? Is that an imposter? They all come together with one purpose. And that purpose... Hey, Bob! Have, have you seen my plastic wind-up lobster? O-M-G. Jerry is Larry confirmed. This is a real twist. Take notes, M. Night Shyamalan, for you just got served. Man, I felt really uncool doing that. That purpose is to create the most fantastic Christian children's series anyone has ever imagined. A show so bold, so innovative, so earth shattering, it could only be called one thing, Veggie Tales. This changes everything I know about Veggie Tales. I can't imagine that my mind can be blown any more than it already has. Just a minute, not so fast. Before this nonsense goes any further, I just want everyone to know that I was against it from the start. Isn't that right, dear? That's right, he was! Is that Archibald married to Junior's mom? Is Junior's dad his mom's second marriage? I mean, VeggieTales never really covered divorce. In fact, I don't think they ever covered divorce in any episode, and yet it happened before their first episode. Ooh, interesting. I'm on to you guys. As I was saying, that cucumber came up to me and asked me what I thought we should do this weekend. Oh, I suggested a Caesar salad might be nice. We hadn't done one of those in a while. Wouldn't eating a Caesar salad be cannibalism? They decided to do a television show instead. I mean, really. You put vegetables in salads. You use them as side dishes. Occasionally, you might use them as an aesthetically pleasing garnish. But you never, never put vegetables on television. Wow, Archibald used to be a lot more cynical back in the day. I'm glad he grew up. It is simply not done. I don't know about you, but this is dumbfounded me. Let's dive into something else, shall we? Next up is a commercial to promote VeggieTales website. I know it sounds lame, but stick with me. It's it's good. Hey guys, what are you doing? Greetings, real life people. Larry the Cucumber here! And he is superimposed on a computer screen with Bob. No, seriously. Like, look at this again. They clearly added this video in post-production. That's not on the computer. Look, Mom, it's Larry. He's talking to us. And I'm Bob the Tomato. I'm here, too. On the computer? What are they doing there? The mom is confusing me with her line delivery. Is she actually confused? Did she plan that all along, or is she just a bad actress? We've come here to cyberspace to tell you about our brand new website. That sounds fun. Can you show us how to get there? Is that okay with you, Mom? Absolutely. Look at this little girl. She is dead inside. She sold her soul to VeggieTales. There's a ton of fun games to play for all ages. Larry's Wild Water Ride. Whoa! Okay, hold up. How did water just come out of the computer monitor? Is this some sort of technology that Apple's invented and hasn't told us about? Because I want to know. I really do. Please tell us, how did water come out of a computer monitor? If I put water on my computer monitor, it would it would be destroyed. So what do you think? It's time for VeggieTales. 
that mom is a horrible actress. I mean, I understand the kids being, you know, kids, because they are kids, but that mom, absolutely terrible. She's barely even lip singing. Next up is a commercial uh, by VeggieTales in association with Mops. And no, that's not like a mop in your kitchen. It's an organization. But anyway, let me just, Junior can explain it. That would be easier. Mops. It stands for Mothers of Preschoolers. Oh, I've heard of that. And well, I'm a preschooler. Yes, yes, you are, Junior. Despite the fact that you're five or six, you know, earlier episodes told us that. But yeah, yeah, you're totally a preschooler. I buy that. Seems like they just wanted Junior to be a preschooler for this promo to work, and they were hoping you didn't know his real age. And sometimes being the mother of a preschooler can be challenging. Or so I'm told. Why is there water dripping from the ceiling? That does not sound like Junior's mom at all. We met his mom in the very first episode of Edge Sales. You know, where's God when I'm scared? Junior! It's time for bed! So what happened? Does he have a stepmom? Is this an alternate universe? Like, did, did we get, are we on a different timeline? Because now he's a preschooler, so might be... Wait a second. Was this his real mom? His He actually had a first mom, and now the second mom was the one we met in Where's God When I'm Scared, which is actually a stepmom then. Oh my gosh, my mind is being blown. Sometimes kids can do things like fill up the bathtub so their webkins can go sailing, but then forget to turn off the faucet. Junior wouldn't be a part of my family anymore at this point in his life. Nope. Can you disown children at five or six? Because I might want to do that if I have Junior as my kid. Junior, honey, can we talk? Okay. His stepmom, or maybe his real mom, I, we, we're not sure which one that is yet, seems to be pretty okay with how he's destroyed the house. Wait till Archibald gets home, Junior, then you'll learn your lesson. Our next commercial is, what's the big idea? But wait. What is the big idea? I don't know the answer to that question. What's the big idea? I just dropped in. You can learn more about Larry and me and all your VeggieTales buddies in What's the Big Idea? But what is the big idea, Bob? Please tell me, I need to know. The official newsletter of Big Idea Productions. Wow, that's great. That actually sounds really cool. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. Each issue is packed with behind the scenes peeks at new videos, interviews with the creators of VeggieTales, plus coloring pages and other fun things for kids. Okay, now I need to know if these actually existed. Like if they were really made and they were really sent out. If anyone has one, like could you like scan it and put it online or just take a phone photo, something to prove that it exists because I would really love to see it. Next up is the VeggieTales and World Vision partnership promo. And done. Hey Larry, what you doing? Oh, hi Bob, I'm making a card. For who? Juan Marco Cifuentes. He wishes he could dance, like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danza. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. Isn't that what you think of too whenever Larry speaks in Spanish? So who is he? Who is Juan Marco Cifuentes? Bob, he's a little boy I've been sponsoring through World Vision for like three years. He lives in Colombia, South America. Really? Are you not aware of all the charity work that Larry does? Are you just that inconsiderate that you don't keep up with Larry's daily activities? Wow, Bob, how inconsiderate of you. I even send him birthday cards. I made this one myself. Why couldn't the plane take off? It's great, Bob. I'm helping Juan Marco, his family. Don't leave Bob and I hanging like that, Larry. Tell us, why can't the plane take off? Look, I have his picture on the fridge. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, Larry. I bet Bob feels like a jerk for not knowing who this kid was the entire time. He was on their fridge. How did he not see it? Uh, by the way, why couldn't the plane take off? Oh. Because the pilot was a tomato? That was cold, Larry. Real cold. I'm sure Bob has flown a plane before. Happy birthday. What? Is that a joke? It's funny in Spanish. It is? Por qué el piloto era un tomate? I don't get it. Neither do I, Bob. Neither do I. Why did high school and college force me to take a foreign language again? I think I've taken like four semesters of Spanish and I still don't really know anything. I forgot my stamp. What's up to? Well, I'm writing a letter to Sarah Hope Mabuya. Mabuya. That's fun to say. Boo! Ya! That wasn't funny. Though it did seem like it was going to be funny when I wrote it down, but. I left it in there anyways. Maybe someone will laugh. That's how I feel about all of my jokes. I wonder how you say because the pilot was a tomato in Swahili. Why's that? Well, 
because I could make her a card. Haven't you hurt Bob's feelings enough already, Larry? You know, it feels like you're just being cruel for cruel sake at this point. I've been taking flying lessons. Whoa. Hop on and I'll fly into the post office. Gravity and the laws of physics should not allow this to be happening. Bob is a tomato. He should not be on a paper plane flying around all willy nilly. Here, let me show you how a tomato on a paper plane would fly. Tomato, paper plane. It's already bending. I haven't even done this yet. Last on our list is a partnership between VeggieTales and Chick-fil-A. That sounds tasty. Hey, Chick-fil-A fans, Larry here. I wanted you to be the first to know about our first ever audiobook series, available exclusively in Chick-fil-A Kids Meals. I'm interested, Larry. Tell me more about this audiobook thing. Stop. Nugget time. Mm. That's tasty. That wasn't funny. That felt very forced and awkward. More so than that time I danced in the Snoodles tail review, and I won't show it, so just you don't have to worry about watching it again. Each audio CD features stories and songs from all your veggie friends. Pause for Waffle Fry. Why even bother to tell us all this information if you're just gonna stop every five or so seconds, Larry? It's really annoying. Head to your nearest Chick-fil-A and collect all five today. Chocolate milk is calling my name. I actually have a couple of these CDs. One's from a 2006 promotion and one's from a 2010 promotion. I'm not sure which promotion this commercial is talking about, but one day I'll show you both of these and what's on them. Uh, and my name, my name isn't Ben. Ben just decided to write his name on all over my stuff. That is it for VeggieTales commercials. Uh, is there some I missed that are actually interesting? I know there's commercials for like every single episode, but those aren't really that interesting. So let me know in the comments if there is, and I should review them. Remember that God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye.